Devin Barbalata joins us now. And Devin, you've learned more about the hero who risked his life for others during this flood. Mary, we're on Old Frederick Road. This is the stretch of the Patapsco River where Sergeant Eddie Herman's body was recovered yesterday. Tonight, an extended network of friends and family are getting ready to say goodbye to who they called their go to guy. Maryland flags at half staff flying in mourning over the 5th Regiment Armory in Baltimore, the National Guard post where Sergeant Edison Herman served until his death in Ellicott City, a tragedy that sent shockwaves through his current and former units. When you get someone like Sergeant Herman, you can see where they forget all about safety for themselves to be able to save someone else. And I'm extremely proud of um, you know what he has done for this country. Herman, a father, son, and Air Force veteran, died a hero Sunday night, springing into action and fighting the raging Tiber River to save a stranger from violent flash floods. First responders discovered his body more than a mile away in the Patapsco River Tuesday afternoon. His family, who was visiting from out of town for the weekend, is devastated but relieved. We're glad we found him. You know, we wish we could have found it could have been better circumstances, but at least we get glad we found him, and now we can put some closure to this. National Guard Major General Linda Singh says members have stayed with his family since the search for Eddie began. Their heartache shared by many. They're going to stand strong through this, but we've got a guard family that's going to stand around them. Only fitting this hero's last act was serving those whom he swore to protect. Funeral arrangements are still in the works. The National Guard tells me they may be planning a ceremony to honor him as well as a possible award for his bravery. Reporting live in Ellicott City, I'm Devin Bartolotta for WJZ. Devin, thank you.